the solution to equations with homogeneous coefficients. Our first example on this topic is exercise 6, page 31 of our book. And we are asked to find the general solution to the differential equation 3xy dx plus quantity x squared plus y squared dy equal to 0. Now, first things first, we need to see to it that we are dealing with a homogeneous differential equation. So, as we look at our m term, which is 3xy, and our n term, which is x squared plus y squared, we can see that m term is second degree and n term is also, as a single term, second degree. So indeed, this differential equation uh, is a homogeneous differential equation. We need to see to it that we are dealing with a homogeneous differential equation before we proceed to the solution because the solution that will be presented is specific only to this type of differential equation. Now, first step is to substitute y equal to vx or x equal to vy. You can actually do either of the two. But the first part of our solution will be uh, y equal to vx and we will do the x equal to vy later after we arrive at our uh, general solution. Now, why do we need to introduce a new variable v? It's because we need to reduce the homogeneous differential equation to separation of variables because we already know how to solve it. Now, if we have y equal to vx, we have to get the differential of y, which is vdx plus x dv. Now, for further discussion on why we have to do this, you just go to the chapter of our book uh, on this topic for some theoretical and conceptual discussion. Now, we substitute y and dy to our uh, given equation. So we arrive at this equation. Okay? So I hope you will be able to follow uh, what becomes of the equation after we substituted y and dy. Now, since we have a dx term and we have also a dx term, so we need to distribute vdx to this quantity and x dv to this quantity in order to be able to combine later the dx terms. Okay? So as we distribute, this will now be our equation. Okay? Now, by looking at this equation, it's obvious that x squared is common to the three terms. So we divide the entire equation by x squared. So x squared will be canceled. So what we have now is 3v dx plus v times the quantity 1 plus v squared dx plus x times the quantity 1 plus v squared dv. Okay, so x squared is already canceled. Now, we have to simplify this equation by combining the dx terms. Okay, so we have 3v dx and this term dx. So what happened is we have v cubed plus 4v dx and we just copy the dv term, this one. Now, uh, this is the resulting term after combining the dx terms. Okay, obviously because you have v squared times v is v cubed and you don't have any other v cubed term so we, we just copy v cubed and we have v dx and you have 3 v dx so the resulting uh, term will be 4 v. Okay? Now, uh, 
from from this equation we can already see how we are going to separate the variables so we will now have the equation dx over x plus uh, v squared plus 1 all over v times the quantity v squared plus 4 dv equal to 0 because we just factor out v uh, in this term okay now we don't have any issue with the dx term but the dv however we need uh, a lot of uh, simplification for this integral term okay now uh, what we can do uh, for this equation first is you can actually uh, uh, break it down to two fractions to sum of fractions so you have v squared all over this term which is uh, this term here and you have 1 over this term dv which is the term here or you could actually perform direct uh, reduction to partial fractions to this term but this is how I present my solution so this is still okay now uh, as you look at the second term you can see that v squared and v can be reduced okay so our next step is now dx over x plus v over v squared plus 4 all over plus 1 over v times v squared plus 4 dv so v squared is now reduced to v okay so by inspection you can see that this term will also lead to logarithm but this one obviously you need to reduce it to partial fractions okay so among the three integral terms only the third term remains an issue okay so we have to evaluate this uh, term separately okay so okay we 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 will show how the the second term will just lead us to logarithm okay if you just let our uh, denominator as our u then your du will be 2v dv wherein we only have v dv so we need a correcting factor of positive one half okay so therefore the resulting uh, after integrating the second term will give us one half ln of v squared plus four okay now if we evaluate the third term we need instead of doing partial fractions you can actually do trigonometric substitution okay now in my solution uh, i prefer to do trigonometric substitution so what trigonometric uh, function shall we introduce to our uh, integral term so but by looking at the term v squared plus 4 we need to substitute v equal to 2 tangent of theta in order to produce 4 tangent squared of theta and we combine it with 4 will give us an identity tangent squared plus 1 as you factor out 4 later so if you get the differential of v then that will be 2 second squared theta d theta okay? so as we substitute uh, v and dv this will now be our resulting integral term okay so v is now 2 tangent theta and v squared is now 4 tangent squared theta plus 4 so dv is 2 second squared theta d theta now as you can see 4 here is common okay so you can factor it out outside then 2 times 4 equals 8 okay so you have now this term but tangent squared of theta plus 1 is just equal to second squared of theta okay so this 
term and second square root of theta is cancelled. And 2 over 8 is just equal to 1 fourth. And you have now 1 over tangent theta also, d theta. So this, this is now the resulting term after we simplify this integral term. Okay? Now, uh, 1 over tangent theta is just equal to cotangent theta. And cotangent theta is cosine over sine of theta. So if you let this actually a formula, this is so we already have uh, uh, an answer to this integral. But to show the solution, if you let u equal to sine theta, then your du will be cosine theta. Therefore, this term is just equal to one fourth ln sine of theta. But what is our sine theta? Now, we have to remember that we substituted V equal to 2 tangent theta. Therefore, tangent theta is equal to V over 2. And we need this term in order to uh, show our triangle. So, if this is our right triangle and this is our theta, then tangent theta is V over 2. Therefore, the hypotenuse is the square root of the sum of the squares of the two sides. So you have v squared plus 4 quantity square root. Okay? Therefore, sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse, which is v over the square root of v squared plus 4. Okay? Therefore, our, our third term is this one. The integral of our third term is this one. So as we substitute, as we go back to our uh, to our differential equation, as we integrate each term. So uh, the first term is ln of x. The second term is one half ln of b squared plus four, and our third term is one fourth ln of sine of theta, which is this one, equal to c. Okay. Now, as we remove all the fractions, we multiply the entire equation by 4. Then we have now this equation, 4C. Okay? But properties of logarithm will lead us to our next step, which is 4 ln x is equal to ln x to the 4 and 2 ln of b squared plus 4 is just equal to this one. Okay? So, properties of logarithm again, the sum of the two logarithmic terms. And by the way, for c, we just reduce it to c because the product of 4 and c is also a constant. Okay? Now, properties of logarithm, uh, we just multiply all the terms equal to c. We do have our uh, denominator, the square root of b squared plus 4, because the third term is ln of v over the square root of b squared plus 4, equal to c. So as we remove the logarithmic, uh, uh, the natural logarithm here, as we get the anti-log of both sides, so we get this one. Okay. So ln is no longer here, but we have e to the c here. We're in e to the c, again, is just equal to c. So equal to c. So as we simplify, we cross multiply our denominator. So we have here our uh, v squared plus 4 square root multiplied by c. So we don't have a fractional form here. So, uh, as we remove the radical sign, we raise the entire equation by 2. So x to the 8, x to the 4th rather becomes x to the 8. This quantity squared raised to 2 is x to the 4th. Uh, v squared plus 4, uh, the 4th. And v raised to 2 is v squared. And this is c squared and we remove the uh, square root sign here. Okay. But c squared, again, is just equal to c. So, uh, v squared plus 4, and 
you have v squared plus 4 raised to 4 so uh, this will be this will be can reduce to 3 so we have now x to the 8 v squared plus 4 quantity cubed times v squared now we need to substitute back our orig original variables x and y so since y equal to vx therefore v is equal to y over x now substituting we have this uh, equation and since x to the 8 over x squared is equal to x to the 6 so we no longer have x squared here and we simplify this term here so you have y squared plus 4x squared over x squared cube but x squared raised to 3 is also x to the 6 so x to the 6 over x to the 6 is cancelled so our final solution will be 4x squared plus y squared quantity cube y squared equal to c as we rearrange the numerator here so this is now our general solution and final answer to the differential equation okay now going back to the uh, given differential equation let me show you if we do the substitution x equal to vy and dx will be v dy and y dv okay so substituting the equation becomes this one okay so i hope you'll be able to follow uh, we are just showing the two solutions here if indeed we will arrive at the same answer so again since we have two dy term we have to distribute this v dy and y dv to 3v y squared so this is now uh, uh, before we distribute it we divide the entire equation by y squared because y squared is common so the y squared is cancelled so we have now this term so we combined the dv term or rather the dy term so the dv term is just equal to 3v times y so you have 3vy dv and our dy term is the combination of v squared plus 1 and uh, 3v squared so since you have 3v squared plus v squared will give you 4v squared and you have another dy term is 1 dy so you have 4v squared plus 1 quantity dy okay obviously we can now separate the variables so you have now v dv over the quantity 4v squared plus 1 plus 1 over 3 dy over y okay we can actually uh, uh, move or of course multiply our 3 to dy in order to uh, further simplify our dv term now by inspection if you let our denominator as our u our du will be 8v dv wherein we only have v dv so we need a correcting factor of 1 over 8 here so our uh, integral of the first term will give us 1 8 ln of 4 v squared plus 1 and the second term is 1 third ln of y as we remove the fractions we will multiply both sides by 24 so we have now 3 ln of 4 v squared plus 1 plus 8 ln of y equal to 24 c but 24 c is a constant and we know the properties of logarithm this one 3 will just become the exponent of this term and 8 will become the exponent of y so this is now our resulting term okay properties of logarithm so this is addition so we just multiply the two logarithmic terms getting the anti-log at both sides we remove the ln sign and we have e to the c on the right side but e to the c is just equal to c now uh, we reduce this equation to this form and what do we do next we need to substitute back our original variables x over y for v substituting will give us this one 
okay uh, simplifying the uh, first term so you have 4x squared plus y squared over y squared quantity cubed times y to the 8 equal to c but y squared raised to 3 is y to the 6 and y to the 8 over y to the 6 is y squared so the resulting answer will be 4x squared plus y squared quantity cubed times y squared equal to c so this is also our answer when we do, when we do the substitution y equal to vx so what this actually tell you is you can you can actually do x equal to by and y equal to vx for any homogeneous differential equation but you need not show the two solutions okay you can do that if you want to check whether you have arrived at the correct answer okay so that is the uh, end of the solution of our first example we'll be we will be solving our next example in the next video thank you very much and good day